Hey Zelda fans, welcome back to Capra's Breath of the Wild Let's Play Episode 76. We're nearing the end of our journey here. We've got a little ways to go, but it's uh, we're on the last section of the map. We've got a, a few things to do over here in the corner of the world, which admittedly are pretty fun. And then uh, we've got the castle, and that's about it. Well, and some side quests, I guess. Really, once the Koroks are done, that's like 98% of our work. Hey guy, what's going on? Okay, so he wants me to take pictures of these. And you can see that they're they're blue right now. Um, this, this always takes me longer than it should. They're not very far away, and I think they're all underwater. So I think we just need to kind of follow the coastline and see if we can find any. But it always seems to take me forever to find them. <laughs> Note to self. Do not attack the blue shell snail. <laughs> they do glow at night, like he said. Uh, so they're a little bit easier to find. But I don't, I don't know that they're a lot easier to find. It's not like they stick out like a sore thumb, or... There's no giant glowing pylon of ultimate power that you follow. It's more like... Just look around and... Try and find him. Alright, dude. Oh, he ran away. Nope, he's coming back. No self-preservation mode at all. But yeah, this always takes me forever for some reason. Uh, well, maybe they're not all underwater. I know they're not very far away. They're all pretty close. There's one. <clears throat> and I want to say there's three of them. That's one of them. And they, they've got to be close enough to the surface that you can take a picture of them, so they're not going to be in the deep water. Protection. <sighs> mm. 
might be one way down here at the tip of the, the horn. But I honestly don't remember. <clears throat> We can't find them pretty quick, I'll, I'll look them up. I have that ability. The ultimate ability of someone with a book that has stuff. sure there's none in the actual town proper. So once I get to the town I'll be... I will have gone too far. Skipping lots of stuff here. I think this should be the last shrine that I don't have any real solid information on. Alright, we're back at the village. Well, let's just look this up real quick. technically in Fair and East, but we're also right around Luralind Village. Uh, it would be in the shrine section. This would be a Farron Tower Shrine. We haven't done that one yet. <clears throat> okay, so we got that one, we got that one. was right next to man we looked right there all right let's let's go check it out again we probably just missed it nope this is why i can never find stuff is because the ones that are the closest and should be the easiest uh i don't i don't know that they're there Wheelie for no reason. Ooh, wheelie and then, oh wait, can I do wheelie and then sword? No, I can't. Interesting. Ow. Yep, try to get around that. Didn't work. Oh well. Is what it is. be over here. Is 
Ta da! Yep. Yeah, see? Not not in the water. Or next to the water. But it's right next to the shrine, so I guess that makes sense. And it's like, two people have to stand on these things at the same time. Two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Mm. Do I have to be on this one? Or do I have to go like this? Over here, idiot. Right here. Uh, hmm. How do I kneel? I already did this. It's the closest thing I have to kneeling. this. <laughs> Is that it? <clears throat> That's it. In all the many thousands of years that these have been around, no two people have decided to kneel at the same time. Yeah. Well, we're done here. Off you go. Kaya. Kaya. I am Kaya, leader of the Decepticons. <laughs> That's not even close to being correct. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but I think we have that one. And that's it. So less than 10 Koroks in the next area, and we've only got one shrine. Quick thinking. All right, I got a whole bunch of barrels. That's good to know. Can I stop this? I can't. That's also good to know. Well, let's see if I know what I'm doing. There's no guarantee. Completely unnecessary, the uh, the jumping that I did. I think I had to do this, maybe. Oops. <laughs> it's a treasure chest. It does treasure chest like things.
Is that it? No. Come on. <clears throat> oh, it's actually pretty decent claymore. Let's see, I definitely don't need both of these. Rather have a frost blade than a shock blade. And I think I just woke up now. Is that yeah, that's it. Good. Interesting. Alright. Yes, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thanks for the good work. Thanks for the hard work. That's what it is. Thanks for the hard work. Ten, which means there are two more shrines, which means we missed a shrine somewhere. Because the one I know about that we're about to go to, I don't, I don't know where the other one is. Well, we'll just have to find it. Not a big deal. All right, <clears throat> we're going here next. I wanted to check and see. Did we already get this one? We did not. Okay. Start up here. The Nakluda Sea has about 10 Koroks in it. A handful of treasure chests in the middle of nowhere, which, holy moly, if you wanted to go for these, you really want to have a raft or something. Just getting out there's a pain in the butt. And then we get to do one of my favorite shrines. Uh, let's do blue first. Ah! That time it counted. I don't know. Hmm. This will be faster. We'll get the red, and then we'll come back, and we'll get the uh, the one on the beach to the east. On the beach in the far east, there is a Korok. He will give you something you cannot use. And you will feel glad. <laughs> ah, jeez. Koroks. There's a lot of you. There's, there's a lot of you. So many Koroks. Seagulls. And he put it down because I landed on the edge. That's funny. Um, I don't think I can just drop it. I think I have to throw it. But is this going to be too far? Ah, it's too far. It's okay. I can come back. That's right, jerks. Take that. Bow before my surplus of shock arrows. That is kind of funny. Come on. There you go. Alright. Uh, here? Perfect. 
getting good at these. And I might as well pick up all this nonsense. I think they're all white. Although, hmm. I don't see any materials. It's interesting. Zoom. That's not how you use Zoom. <laughs> speed. Need more speed. Ah. I think we already did the quest where we had to go down here and uh, mess up these guys. I feel I'm, I'm pretty confident, pretty confident that we did this quest already. It was a long time ago, at kind of the beginning of our of our process of our trials, back when fighting off hordes of monsters and getting their swords and shields was a worthwhile endeavor. Nowadays, we're way too OP for everything. Alright, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's gonna be... Oh, hold on. Aha! And it's a hydromelon. Okay. We can work with that. We should have a bunch of them. Or sorry, a palm fruit. That makes more sense. I said hydromelon. <clears throat> I was thinking coconut. And they call them palm fruits because apparently coconuts are not, you know, acceptable. Or maybe palm fruit is a more direct uh, translation from the Japanese version of coconut. Presumably, Japan had coconuts before the English language was introduced to them. Hmm. Guess we just gotta go for it. There's like... Two or three... Hold on. Did I get that one? Oh, man. I missed that one. Uh, we can come back. It won't be hard. There's, yeah, there's four Koroks in this one little bay area. And I think there's a, uh, uh, Talus or something in there, too. It's been a while since I've been to this corner of the world. But I feel that's probably accurate. A rare talus. With doom in his eyes. All he wants to do is take a nap. Ah, that would be too easy. <laughs> Where are the other ones? Oh, there's one of them. Well, that wasn't too bad. So there's one right here-ish somewhere on this rock, maybe. Oh no! Oh, I don't have a thing yet. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, I don't think these count as waterfalls, so I can't exactly go up them. I have to climb a little ways and then jump off. It's not my favorite move. Oh, 
And there are two at the mouth of the bay. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Armored Porby. Too lazy to get out of the way. Come on. Let's get to a place where I can run. Hey, there's the towels. Stone Talus. Mopla Point. Ah, it's one of these. Let's do multiples and bombs. Then he falls down. Then I go underneath him. Around him, that works too. He falls down. There we go. So much easier to use bomb arrows than try and fight with the ones that have them on the back. It's just annoying to fight them. When they're on the top, it's pretty easy. But I've got better things to do. So that was a luminous talents, which might be the only one we've seen like that. For whatever that, that's worth. For whatever it's worth. Should be a rock. Okay, there it is. And then two more rocks, I think. One right here. <laughs> <laughs> just slightly outside of the circle. Uh, Korra couldn't be bothered. They don't actually say that the Koroks set these up. It's, it's kind of implied. But nobody actually says that the Korok makes this thing. Freeze them, but it won't actually take them down. Just a bit troublesome. Admittedly, electricity on just bones probably isn't going to do anything. Bones are not a good conductor of electricity. I assume. I've never actually tried that. Oh, arrow, I need that. And there should be one right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one's a bit of a jog. That's okay, though. We got stamina for days. There it is. The white flower of the Koroks. It's magic. Alright, um. Yeah, we're gonna get this first. So I think <clears throat> this is our last Korok, because I'm pretty sure the one in the middle of the ocean we already got. It's an easy way to check that. And then, finally, even tied. Finally! Okay, there should be one. Yep, we got that one. Okay. Go for red. The only way to fly. I'm pretty sure with three with three full rings, we shouldn't need any special stamina ability boosting stuff. Feeling fairly confident. We gotta go from there at at uh, cliff all the way to the island. I'm pretty sure we can get there without too much trouble. 
the first time I went there was kind of a goof. I was just like, hey, this is probably, this will be fun to see if I can make it. And I think I only had like a stamina and a half bar, and I ended up needing to, to chew into some of my stamina type uh, food. I think three will get us there without any trouble. shrine we missed. 855 Koroks. I don't know that there are 45 Koroks in the castle. We probably missed a handful, but we were, we were, we're doing pretty good on Koroks. Pretty happy about that. Hey look, we've even got a wind. So I've said this before, Eventide Island is uh, is kind of what the Master Sword quest, the Master Sword Trials of the Sword quests are, where it strips you of all of your stuff, uh, and you just have to you have to figure out ways to to survive and beat a couple of monsters and get some stuff together it's just kind of a fun fun thing to do uh, no matter where you are in your quest because it you know evens out everything takes away all your all your gear and your food so it's kind of a fun little thing before the trial of the sword this was the only one that did this and now you can do the trial of the sword all the time if you want Welcome to Eventide. And we're just going to fall to the coast. Because this. I present you with a challenge. Offer the orbs to the three altars. Only then will I acknowledge your skill. And return your stuff. Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over here and steal this stuff. There are good ways to do this. And I am not exactly doing this as well as I could, for sure. Because I'm cocky, right? I have a rough feel for what I need to do and how I need to do it. And uh, other than that, I'm not really too worried about anything. This guy's being a jerk. Where's the other one? Traveler sword takes me from two to five. Totally worth it. This one isn't nearly as important as uh, so. In the trial of the sword, you had a lot of the things that you had to do, and if you died, you had to start all over. Um, this one doesn't have nearly as many things for you to do. So if you if you're not super conservative with your items or your you know, if you don't cook like you're supposed to, if you're not ultra efficient with everything, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's not a big deal. So there.
there's one of the altars. And I thought... Maybe not. I'm pretty sure nothing gets like harder uh, if you as you fill the altars. So it's not like you have to do them in any particular order. I think I have a tendency to do this this particular order just because it suits me. Um, but you can do them in whatever order you want. All right, jerk. Man, it has gone forever. That's okay. <clears throat> ah, no. <laughs> the death water. Oh, nope. Nice. It's twice now I've almost died. I don't know that there's anything in there that I care about. There's a treasure chest. Ow, ow, ow. Soldier's Claymore, I'll take that. So obviously, uh, if you've got a bunch of hearts, you've got a bunch of stamina, you've got a bunch of of, um, I don't have any arrows. Um, if you have a bunch of uh, weapon slots, you're going to have a huge advantage. There's one of the orbs. Interesting. There we go. I need you to be out, apparently. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot about that. I don't know why I care. I don't I don't need to beat you. This isn't the trial of the sword. So there's one over here, there's one on that Hinox. Uh, which is kind of like the boss, right? There's there's a, there's an area behind him that you have to deal with, but in this this is kind of he's kind of the boss. So you wanna you wanna get the stuff that you need in order to beat him. I usually put this one over here. Pretty sure it doesn't matter which one you put where. They all they all fit in the same slot. Uh, and they float. So you can throw them in the water and you don't have to worry about them um, running away on you. Sinking into oblivion. The tricky part is that you have to get them like that. Hey, that was lucky. I'll take it. That's one. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing, so the Trial of the Sword took away your your abilities, your magic stuff. Um, in in this quest, you have all of your magic abilities. So being able to use Being able to use um, Herbosa's Fury in the fight is awesome. Definitely not on purpose. Gives you a chance to go back to your origins. Back when you had to cook to survive. Or you had to understand how to make fire. Because you didn't have a fire blade just hanging, hanging out, ready to go. Right? need to know how to make fire. You need to know how to how to cook stuff. Cuz if you don't, then you die. <clears throat> there are these boulders, which I've never really been able to make good use of. Um, let's see what we have. Uh, Volt Fruit, uh, resistance to electricity, heat resistance, health. Attack up is always acceptable. You don't really need any heat or cold resistance on this island. Defense. Strength compound. <laughs> eh, let's just hold on to that for a bit. Can I cook with balloons? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> uh, dubious food. Interesting. Almost woke him up. There we go. That didn't work at all. This is so much easier with Herbosa's Fury. The first time I came here, I was not, I didn't have Herbosa's Fury. I didn't have anything. I 
I barely had. Like I said, I didn't even have two full rings of stamina. But that bio, that boss is not a big deal <clears throat> at this stage. Uh, the stuff behind him is, I think it's kind of tricky because there's a lot of them, but it's not. It's not that big of a deal. We'll see it in here in a minute. That's two. Oops. Oh, that didn't work. Cow. Come on. There you go. So if I had a whole bunch of arrows, this would be super easy. Can't climb me. And he's dead. Come to me. Stupids. Whoops, that was me. And he's down. There you go. That's all there is to it. Again, a lot easier when you know what you're doing and you've got access to the right stuff. Oops. Am I going to hit this? Not really. And that's it. That's three. Coming here at the beginning of the game is, is kind of a challenge, but it's not as special. You don't really feel any different at the beginning of the game because you you're, you don't have anything anyway. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool. I think the Trial of the Swords definitely more robust uh, as a challenge. I now return your things as I promised. Enter the shrine. Okay. So I don't think... I already had a bunch of those. I don't think you get to keep anything uh, that you had on you if it doesn't fit. I'm pretty sure you get to keep like the bananas and the little crabs and whatever because this is just a regular island from now on. You can come back here and just hang out. It's not like the Trial of the Sword where you only exist as data or whatever its background story is. So it makes sense that you would be able to keep stuff, but you're not going to be able to keep stuff that you don't have room for. So all your weapons and your shields and your arrows 
if you don't, well, arrows, you probably have them before. Never maxed out on arrows before. I don't know what the max size is for those. The game does a pretty good job of limiting your ability to give, to get too many arrows. Alrighty. We have one more shrine, and I don't know where it is. I'm sure we just ran right past it. It's got to be like a, like a, um, a cost shrine or a, you know, a shrine quest shrine where you don't see the, where you can't see it otherwise, right? Because the 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 sensor would be going off. Uh, so, after you beat it, then you get to meet this guy. And he's all like, hey man, what's going on? Yeah. Mimo. Seeking adventure. This is another hang glide mini game of sorts. I don't remember there being like any rhyme or reason to this or why you would care. remember doing it a couple three times and getting bored so I kind of just stopped at some point I want to say you can get rupees off of this but again I don't remember I guess we'll find out here in a minute I don't even know if I got that last one but there's no no thing over here And you just keep going until you run out, or until you hit, hit the ground, right? So there's some... Oh, I guess you run out of stamina, too, eventually. collect you, my flightless friend. Hooray! I guess. I don't know. I'm all wet. Eh, it's not raining up here. It's unsurpassed, even by Wii Rito. That seems unlikely. You guys can actually fly. Silver rupee. For being unsurpassed, you get a silver rupee. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, I think he just called me a chicken. <clears throat> Alright. So, yes. Apparently we've got one more shrine. I don't know where it is. And I don't really care right now. Um, this, this is next. Uh, the castle is a pain in the butt. Uh, it makes it a lot harder because you can't mark stuff. Once you're inside, you know, you can't, you can't mark stuff anymore. Looks like we got, hmm, they're counting this whole thing, and we already got those three, but there's one over here. You can mark stuff while you're outside of the castle, uh, but once you're inside, your map is completely useless. It's not useless, it's just not useful, as useful for this, this endeavor. Okay, we got that one. And we got that one. Um, we got this one. Uh, let's see. We got 
got these two. There's there's one here somewhere. I got that one already. I got this one already. There's one here. Probably actually there's two here. And I'm sure one is at the very tippy top of the castle. We didn't go there. So there's one there, there's one over here somewhere, there's one over here somewhere. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's over there, ten, we got eleven, we, okay, so ten's right here, we don't have that one yet. 11. We're only at 11 Koroks. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, this is a good place to stop for now. So we will pick it up. Uh, next time we'll finish off the, the castle. And I'll try and figure out what uh, shrine I'm missing. And then after that, we've got a handful of Koroks left, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to have to get do some, some pretty deep digging to figure out which ones we're missing. It's not that big of a deal, it's just tedious, so I'm going to do it offline. Um, and then we'll be pretty solid. So, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. We're going to do this. All right. I will see you guys next time.